Hi guys, I'm coming to you today to do homeschool blog hop number four, which is planners and binders. So I'm going to show you my binder. I am going to decorate this once I feel inspired again. <laughs> I'll decorate something, put something on the cover, make it look nice, make it look nice and pretty. Okay, in the inside I have my pencil container. Um, with what do I have in it like pencils highlighters sticky notes this first tab okay the next tab is weekly plans now this is from last year because I'm still oops can't turn it upside down I'm still putting um, my weekly assignments together but this is the weekly assignment that I did last year for my son for uh, he was doing a unit study on this um, America the story of us okay so I would write down what he needed to read or what he had to do for that day the next thing is notes and contacts and important websites then I put um, paper in if I needed to write some notes the next tab is household stuff. Um, whatever's going on in the year that I need. The next tab is um, language arts. And in here, what I do to help me keep up with um, what all three kids are doing is I make sure I make a copy of all of the table of contents out of the books that they are doing. Um, on a daily basis so like this one is writing strands for so basically I'm able to come in here open up my binder and look and see I normally will put a date next to the assignment and that way I don't know if they completed it or if they need more refresher in it in the course so we have writing strands for writing strands three writing with ease okay so with history like I said um, this was the lesson plan for that we're still working on actually for America the story of us Okay. then we get to science and science like I said before I copy the table of contents so I know if my son says he's on module one I'll know what he should be doing if I'm working with somebody else and it helps me to know um, like what type of books I can get to reinforce whatever it is that they're studying so then the next page is another table of contents but it has the lab supplies um, needed that they would need to complete each module okay, let's see. then even though my son is taking um, biology at the co-op I still need to know what he's reading and what they're reviewing in those classes so I have his table of contents as well and then physical exploring creation with physical science which I just had an extra copy of so I put that in there okay for math um, we're doing teaching textbooks so the same thing applies here this way I know if I want to pull up more worksheets um, to reinforce some some things or or um, to see what's coming next I use a table of contents so for each one of them I have it wrote at the top um, the book okay so then um, this is my five in a row tab um, we are originally a five in a row family but this year I, I'm, I'm trying to get a little more structure um, in areas that I feel that I'm weak in that um, I've read or saw that um, some of these curriculums do a great job so that's why we're 
putting um, that's why I'm using different um, books this year to also strengthen areas that I'm weak in that um, so that's my way of trying to get them extra help so anyway this is my five in a row section um, it's the printout of five in a row I always have it with me so then rowing that week when I um, make the lesson plans do the unit studies I'll know what to do I also had a um, books by season a lot of information a season and theme and geography then I have in here um, a list of all the titles resource pages from where I downloaded um, lap books and such right here it shows I highlighted items that's available at my local library okay. it's a lot in five in a row I love five in a row so these are like volumes to come okay next is my art tab in my art tab I have art the art movement timeline and basically I found this online from I don't know if you can see that I'm trying to zoom in from this website here and basically when you're studying history and you're trying to pull everything and tie everything together I will always go to this timeline and look up um, look up what type of art was happening in that time period so this is very and then also when we're doing our art projects or we're going to the DIA the um, our Institute of Art I'm able to have this book with me and I'm able to give the kids more of a background of the art that they see when we're there okay uh, We've been working on the World's Greatest Artist Volume 1 um, from um, Confessions of a Homeschooler.com, which was great. Okay. That was in our art folder. Then I also have art homeschool art uh, recipes in here. So if I'm looking up something or want to do a project, I know I can come here and see if I have the supplies or how to make it homemade in my book already okay I'm trying to hurry okay the next tab is the menu tab I normally will put whatever um, the kids like to eat in this section um, especially the lunches our lunches the next section is our reading list and basically what I what I do is I go to our um, I log into my account at our library and I do a printout of all the books that we've read I think last year we read close to 300 and something books so anyway for us to for me to make sure that we're not repeating certain books or I normally can just flip through here and see if we've already checked those books out. Okay. This book is so thick. I probably need to get a um get a bigger binder. Hold on. Okay. So the next thing is calendars. Now I notice a lot of people, including myself, loved um, Donna Young's calendars. So, of course, that's where I get my calendar from as well and in here this is just for me to look at it at a glance this was the um, last year's and then I'll add this year's and then I do the 13 month calendar and with a 13 month calendar basically I put in as you see at the top our national and personal holidays our co-op days um, that there's no co-op and my husband's um, days off because those are considered holidays in our house 
And then at the end of the book, we have templates. You guys know what that is. And then I have a tab for each one of my children. And that way, um, I can store some of their work um, that I want to review with them or different notes. Anything I want to do pertaining to each child, I would normally put it in that folder. So anyway, that's my binder. Thanks for watching.